part of one and part of Yeah, but it's six. not accurate. Like, you can't say it's one but hour. It's one hour 50, so it's like Are almost really two arguing? hours. Morning, guys. I am getting ready because I have an appointment this morning with the CFO. It's almost seven, so um, the appointment starts at nine, and we have to be there an hour and a half before because I think we need to sign up and all that. I'm just waiting for a grab now. I've already booked it, and I've got all my papers. I'll be still sleeping. And I'll just show you guys the form that needs to be printed once you make the appointment. If you guys need to make this appointment just go on to the CFO website and sorry I have a cold you can make an appointment there and then you would need to print the confirmation because you would need to show this at the guard so this is the CFO this is for EU or Europe yes. there are different types of CFO I believe for other countries so you have to be specific that uh, you know, when you make that appointment to make sure that you choose EU or Europe and Italian or either. Besides that, I also brought, of course, our marriage certificate, which is also a requirement. And I also brought my passport and my husband's passport and our IDs. Another thing that they could ask for, it says on the form as well, just for you know proof of uh, relationship, would be some pictures of you and your husband. I don't know if they check messages. Um, I don't think they're that strict though, but you know, they would just want to see that you guys are, you know, really a couple and that you weren't forced into going to Europe or whichever country you're going to because they're just concerned. They're con concerned citizens. So kind of gloomy outside, but let me just open the door. My husband's still sleeping. I hope it doesn't rain. I don't want to bring an umbrella. I don't think it's gonna rain so anyways um, I'll catch up with you guys later and keep you updated once I am done and tell you guys all about the seminar so yep have a great day hey guys I'm at home now what's this oh, just clothes are everywhere so terrible Baby, how was your day? My day was busy, man. My day was really busy. And I don't know what's going on with my head, but I'm losing. And I have a big thing here. I don't know what that is. It's a lump. It's not a lump. It's a lump. How was your day? You got some stuff done today, no? I did. Just about to buy a ticket to fly to Italy. Mm. And we just realized that we're going to have to uh, just uh, put a little bit of extra effort when we get to Italy because we can't fly to Naples. We're going to have to fly to Rome. Then once we are in Rome, we got to take a train, then another train. So, it's going to be a long day. Wife is going to be all grumpy. Husband is going to be all fucking grumpy. Did you know what I learned in seminar today? What? That, um, what did I learn? You should travel together. That's how you learn um, the attitude or the behavior of your other half. <laughs> of all the travel and make it stress and then their real behavior will come out. It's the first time I'm traveling with my wife. I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna go. How do, you, how do you think it's gonna go? Well, you're probably gonna sleep a lot in the, in the airplane. Why? Why do you think that? Because you always sleep. I don't usually sleep in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in travels, at home, yes. I sleep, but in traveling, I don't usually. I don't know. For aging, just need to rest more. Sleep but clearly more. aging. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I'm fucking getting bald. Look at that. They're pretty thick though, but they're getting white. You should put some of your armpit hair to you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that. <laughs> what are we having for dinner? We're having -na 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 -na, chicken soup. Chicken adobo soup. Not the chicken adobo soup. You can say adobo everywhere. Hmm? Tinola. Tinola. Yeah, we're having tinola because it's chicken raining. Chicken tinola. You know what's funny? Right when we prayed for rain and all that, it's just been really hot lately. Right when we prayed for rain, we're gonna move out. <laughs> Did that make sense? <laughs> Italy's I mean, going right... to be super hot, especially south. Yeah, I mean, right when 
it started raining here in the Philippines. We'll be leaving, so... I think rainy season has officially started here in the Philippines. So we're gonna move out. And I think Italy is right uh, summertime now in Italy right now. It's going to be really so hot. It's gonna be hot. We were checking out some uh, tickets. We found a really cheap ticket. Well, I did. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. So you fly to Rome and it's 21K. You wanna fly to Naples it's and it's 37. That's because no one, no one really flies to Naples. What's wrong with Naples? Um, international um, airport, but no, not much people really fly to it. I think that's why it's cheaper in Rome. Yeah, yeah it is. It is kind of cheap. It's half price, babe. That's how much her rent is. The airline is like Thai, Thai Airways. Yeah. So hopefully that airline is good. I mean, he's been on it before when he came here. So hopefully um, I'll be fine with it. It's not like I'm choosy or anything. I just want a blanket and a pillow. And good food, and good music, and good movies. <laughs> and then I just said I don't mind. <laughs> and then she's gonna sleep for like ten hours. She's not so, gonna yeah. do any of those. She's the gonna flight, be sleeping. The flight is like sixteen hours, so it's like three hours to Thailand, one hour layover, which is really really good. It's, I don't understand when. Okay, why you always just read the first number? It's one hour and fifty minutes. <laughs> But it's just like, it just become one is hour. Is it? One hour fifty? Same thing, like, at what time is the plane getting to Rome? It's six o'clock. No, it's not six. It's six fifty. You gotta read the whole thing. But it's part of one and part of Yeah, but it's six. not accurate. Like, you can't say it's one but hour. It's one hour fifty. So it's like Are almost really two arguing? hours. Are really <laughs> two hours, almost two hours. It's funny how Italians, even if they, they're not mad, they always sound mad. I don't know. Ah. But he's not mad, no. I'm never mad. <laughs> you just don't put this thing close to my fucking face. <laughs> and then after that, it's an 11 hour. That's not bad. No, 11 hour to Rome. I think it was 13. No. 11 hours. 11 hours. Then we get to Rome. We got to take the train, then another train. Then that's the shitty part because we got to take two trains before we get home because we're going to... Uh, Go to Rome. I think we'll be fine. Then once we're home, we can just eat something. We sleep. Hopefully, and, we can. And just then sleep. evening time, my family's gonna be home. It's, it is going All to be, gonna be so, so like... overwhelming for you. Yeah, Everybody's going it's to fine. look at you. <laughs> like grandma is going to look at you. It's fine. I look at her. <laughs> um, it's gonna be really overwhelming for me because not much of them speak English. None of them actually know. I don't think so. Maybe so some just, of my cousin. Just only my husband, and which left me right now. So anyways, the point of my video is, of course, the CFO that I took this morning. As you guys noticed that I had woken up so early. I left the house at around 6.45. So I actually got there around 7.20. And yep, once you get into the uh, building, you just need to surrender one of your IDs. So you might as well just bring a government ID. So I had my UMID ID. And uh, don't give them your passport because they're gonna request that up upstairs. So just leave your like your your UMID or your driver's license or something. You go to the third floor and then they'll request for your uh, form, which is the one that you print off from the uh, confirmation email that CFO sends to you once you make that appointment. They will request for you to fill up a form, which is like three pages. So the the form is about you, your uh, husband, and yourself. <laughs> there were things like I didn't really know <laughs> like if my husband was a graduate or not so that was funny because i had to message him i didn't know um you know what he graduated from what else so i just wanted to uh let you guys know that the cfo this cfo this uh seminar is actually a requirement from what i learned even if you guys are not husband and wife so if you guys have a boyfriend girlfriend which is a foreigner if you are, uh, you know, engaged or if you have a fiance that's a foreigner, and of course, if you have a spouse that's a foreigner, you must have this CFO, okay? Um, especially if you will be traveling anywhere. Immigration will, uh, you know, ask you to provide or show them the CFO sticker. That is really, really important. One of the girls that I was with uh, at the seminar today, she was bound to Spain last Saturday, but unfortunately, um, while she was at the check-in, they already, they already stopped her. The reason for that is because they asked for the CFO sticker 
which she did not have. So the bad thing about it is that the Spain embassy didn't actually inform her about it either. So she had no clue. The seminar took around nine, the schedule is usually nine to 12. Started a little past nine and then we ended around 11.30. I guess, you know, what usual seminars do, they just tell you that the importance of um, knowing where to run to if in case there's an emergency or something bad happens to you, hopefully not though, knock on wood, um, while you are overseas because it is really hard to be overseas without knowing anyone. So that is a must once you are at your destination. Um, of course, I'm not gonna go through it because that will be, dis that will be discussed with you at the seminar. So besides that, they also gave us a booklet, so a little pamphlet or flyer. After the seminar, the, uh, what is this, the counselor actually interviewed us one by one and just asked a few questions about me and uh, my husband. One of the reasons why they're doing this seminar for people, you know, about to live in a different country is because of human trafficking, which is happening around the world. So it's happening in any country. So um, when they feel that there's something wrong, you know, they can, al they can already feel it when you're introducing yourself. So if they feel that there's something wrong with what you're saying, or if they feel that it's like a made up story or something does not connect, um, they will f you know, ask you further questions. I'm not scaring you or anything. I, I mean, if, if you're not hiding anything, then you don't need to be scared, okay? Just tell them the truth, that, just tell them the whole story and you know, they'll be fine with it. So since um, I don't have my visa yet, uh, we will be doing that on Monday. One of the things that they provided and one of the things that you will get after the seminar is a certificate. After the interview, you need to go down to the ground floor and make the payment. So just wait for your name to be called and then you make the payment of 400 pesos. Then after the payment, um, if you don't have a visa yet, just wait for your name to be called again for the certificate. So what does the certificate look like? It looks like this. I'm not going to show you up close because I'm really ugly there. <laughs> so that, this is the certificate and believe it or not, this is very, 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 very important certificate that you must keep at all times, anywhere, anytime. Be careful with it because sometimes they will ask it, of course, mostly at the immigration and especially if you are in a relationship with a foreigner. I don't actually have my sticker yet for uh, the CFO because once you're done with the seminar, you should have a certificate plus the sticker, which goes on your passport, okay? So when you're about to leave, the immigration officer at the airport will look for a sticker and then you're good to go. So um, that is mainly about it. Um, don't forget CFO, CFO, CFO. Keep that in mind. Most people actually do this a lot later part or when they're about to leave, but I just wanted to get it out of the way. So what will happen is once I get the visa, I will need to go back to the CFO to claim my sticker. If you guys have any questions about the CFO, how how it does or how it does, is that like wrong grammar? <laughs> so if you guys have any questions on the CFO, on how it goes and anything about the CFO, go ahead and just message me. Um, I've got my Facebook page, which you can directly message me. So that's about it guys. I'll keep you guys posted again especially about the visa. So thanks all for watching and I hope you guys have a great evening ahead. Bye for now.